everybody. Welcome, welcome. Who do we have out here getting fiery with me today? We'll start in just a couple minutes here. I have hair on my legs. I always have hair on my legs. I'm Italian. It's the only place I do have hair. <laughs> I'm like a hairless Italian. <laughs> um, so it's today we're going to do a little like, it's not even going to be super flowy. It's just going to be like core work. We'll do a little bit of flowing. We're going to start on the ground. We'll mostly stay kind of down on the ground. Not too much, um, not too much like vinyasa or, or anything. But uh, definitely just take rest, right? Um, listen to your body, work as hard as you can. <laughs> Seeing Ramona, you're so funny. Um, yeah, awesome. So it'll be, um, again, fiery, 30 minutes. Just keep working. It's only 30 minutes. You There will be, you know, if you know me, I always put in little bits of rest to kind of balance it out. It won't just be relentless. Hopefully, maybe it'll feel relentless. It seems that way. But uh, yeah, just rest when you need to and come back in and uh, join the work. Um, let's start. Yes, Freddie. Amazing. Welcome, welcome. So good. Um, so we'll start in Supdavada Konasana on your back, please. Come down. I just realized I was talking without the mic turned on, so I don't know if you guys could even hear anything I was saying, but hopefully you can now. Yeah, amazing. Awesome. Must have heard what I was saying. So on your back, Supdavada Konasana, and just landing here. Still, no matter what, we're still calling this yoga, right? So there's still um, still presencing, still breath involved in all of this. It's not just some relentless movement of your body. There's still that connection. There's still a vinyasa as in that the breath and your body are connected here. Right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. And start to bring more awareness to the breath right away. So the movement of the hands, sound of your breath start to build heat in your breath right from the beginning here so the ujjayi is loud and long through your nose breathe in and breathe out a couple more like that long inhale Long expand, sip air in. Every last drop, and then let it out through your mouth. Bring your knees into your chest. Just make a few circles there, clockwise, counterclockwise. Working the low back out on the floor a little bit. Okay, and we'll start here. Just a little isometric warm up. Yeah. So, palms on the tops of your thighs. You're gonna take your Knees over your hips, so thighs perpendicular to the floor, shins parallel to the floor, yeah, 90 degree bend at the knee. Bring your palms onto the tops of your thighs. So this is not gonna be a lot of movement. We're not gonna crunch a lot today. There won't be tons of crunches or bicycles or anything. It'll be plenty of uh, work by engaging, yeah? So shoulders lift up. Start to wake up Uriana Bandha. So the Uriana Bandha in yoga, it's the muscles of the belly, right? The core muscles, that whole trunk um, wrapping all the way around to the back. Uh, and you want to really be engaging through that area for like the next 30 minutes, yeah? So engage, pull belly button to spine, hook your belly button up towards your ribs, feel that squeeze in, and then press your thighs and your hands into each other. That's where the work is really coming from here. So I'm pressing into my legs, and my legs are pressing back into my hands. Lift your shoulders, so like ribs to hips. It's like you're doing one crunch and just holding up at the top. Take five more breaths here, in and out. Palms and thighs press into each other. Feel length in the back of the neck, not straining the neck. Two more. Inhale. Lift a little higher, ribs to hips. Squeeze and press and release all the way down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Breathe in. And breathe out. It's building that inner fire, the tapas, the heat in your body, the heat in your breath. Do as much work as you can. 
We'll do one more like that, a little bit different. So crow on your back. Setting up here, palms to the ceiling. Flex your wrist. So let's imagine if your hands were flat on the ceiling. And then a little bend in the elbows again. So setting up crow. Here it's going to be lifting from both sides. So like before, we'll lift the shoulders, ribs to hips, right? Bring the knees up to the triceps. And then do the same from the bottom. So lift your tailbone, even like a millimeter. Press your triceps and your knees into each other. Same form in your body physically as in crow. You're just flipped onto your back. Yeah, press knees and triceps. Squeeze belly button to spine. Take three more. Inhale. Exhale. Ribs to hips. Lift your tailbone. Lift your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more big squeeze. And then release. Supta Baddha Konasana. Just starting to wake up. The heat in your center. I feel that. Hopefully you feel something already. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Feet straight up to the ceiling. Hands underneath the low back. You don't want to skip the good old leg lowers, right? These are super powerful and building strength in your core. So activation in the legs is important. This is kind of where the work is coming from. Big toes touching, heels wide a little bit, like just maybe two or three inches apart. And then flex the toes down, press the heels up. So feel that like zippering up through the leg muscles. Your hands are just around on either side of the tailbone. It just makes it a little bit more supported here. Breathe in, lower down a third. Hold for three breaths in and out. Press the heels away, squeeze your leg muscles into your bones. Breathe in, lower down another third and hold here. Yeah, so keep the legs two thirds of the way. Squeeze into your center here, your belly muscles engaged, your leg muscles. Breathe, one inch off the mat, look at your toes, point your toes to the front of your mat, and then flutter kick like you're swimming here for 10, nine, eight, don't rush, squeeze, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flex your feet, lift your toes up, your head and shoulders come back down. So take reverse here. You're gonna put the heels together and then open the toes wide. So like making the letter V with your feet, yeah? Really actively externally rotate the legs. So the toes turn out with your heels connected. It's taking the thighs out, the calves, the shins turn out. Take a breath in, lower down a third. And really press the heels into each other, press them away. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, not just lazy legs, right? Wake them up, zipper up the inner thighs, the inner leg muscles, squeeze, breathe in. Lower down another third, hold it here, two breaths. Inhale, exhale, shoulders on the ground, belly button pulls down towards your spine, breathe in. Lower down one inch off the mat, look at your toes, and then we will scissor kick. So alternating top to bottom here for 10, nine, eight, breathe in, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Press your heels together and then slowly lift the legs up. Don't rush through it. Feel the work. Reverse the rotation here. So big toes touch, heels go wide. If you're strong through your core, you can have your hands reaching up beside you with your palms hovering a few inches off the mat. This is a lot more work than with it under your tailbone. Option, yeah? Heels wide. So big toes touching, you internally rotate the legs. Breathe in. Lower down a third. Keep your core strong, especially with your arms extended if you're there. Down another third. Leg muscles pulling in. Low back pressing to the floor. One inch off the mat. Look at the toes. And then squeeze and hold. Make some little circles clockwise for three, two, and one. Other direction. Last three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself some little circles in each direction. Grab the backs of your knees, start to rock up and down a few times. Do some big rock and rolls. Come up to boat. Yeah, so Navasana. We're gonna be here for a couple different variations. There's lots of options. You can be here in bow, you can be here like with the feet on the ground, that makes it a lot more stable. And even this, like I feel my core working, 
you can bring hands behind you, right? And still doing some of the movements of so the chest lifting in every variation that I'm gonna demo here, like any option that you know, um, it's lifting through the sternum, the center of the chest up, yeah? And then shoulder integration, drawing back, of course, core in every pose we're doing here. So any variation, you can have supported bulk wrap the backs of the knees as an option here with the shins parallel, the legs straight. Yeah, arms can extend out, you can grab onto the outer edges of your feet and extend up with the legs. And your balance here is coming from your core stability, yeah? So a lot of the poses in a yoga practice are coming from that um, connection to center, like muscle engagement, core engagement. So things like back bends, like wheels and bridges and inversions, headstands and arm balances, all of those things really have a strong connection to how much core work. Yeah, we're still holding both, right? <laughs> so just stay here and breathe. Hold on to it. Wherever you are, chest lift, shoulders back, and engage through Uddiyana Bandha. So it's like a scoop. The belly button draws back, but then up towards the ribs, like a hook in. Stay here. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, core strong, lift the chest, draw back, the shoulders, take a breath in right here, and then rock back with control, tap back into plow, do that, and then come up to boat, do two more like that, big range of motion, feet all the way back to plow, tap the toes maybe, roll up, hover in boat, shoulders back, and then do one more, plow, two, boat. Take boat again, extend out the arms. We'll do some high to low, yeah, breathe in. Low boat, high, and low. So high boat, extend the arms, lengthen, and then low boat, hands at heart center. Keep your core strong, do two more high, and low. Last one, lift, high, hands to heart center, paddle your boat from side to side for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, rock back and forth. Do two, plow, up to boat. Hold it, plow, up to boat, and hover, pause. Just lost my make you hold, 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 boat, 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 so good. Squeeze here, extend the arms out, take a breath in. Go to low boat, we'll paddle our boat here, core strong from side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, rock and roll. Get some momentum, bring yourself back up to one more variation in boats. Sit up, hands behind your head, good old seated bicycle twists. We'll just do these bicycles for today. But don't rush, yeah? Start nice and slow. So it's alternating one elbow to the opposite knee, yeah? So straighten the right leg, right elbow to the left knee, and then switch. With breath. One, two, don't rush. Three, feel the movement. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, core, 10, little faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows wide, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rock and roll. Whew. Do a few of those, you can tap back, rock forward, one more, come all the way up, cross your legs, plant your hands, and step back to down dog. And just feel a stretch in down dog. If this is like too much work for you, be on your hands and knees, take tabletop, even child's pose if you need it, right? You're resting for your body. Yeah, it's a challenging, it's intense, right? And what are you able to do? Instead of putting the focus on what you can't do, or you think you need to give up, this possibility to join again at any time. Three-legged dog quickly here, just opening up through the hips a bit, right leg up, bend your knees, stack your hips, breathe in, wiggle the right ankle and toes, lift the knee, and release, other side, left foot up, bend your knee, 
It's like open the hips, movement in the joints. Come down, down dog. So we'll take a little bit shorter stance. You don't want to walk in too much. So from down dog, just about a third of the way up your mat, yeah? A third of the way towards the hands. So in a short down dog stance, come up onto your tippy toes really high, and you'll shift weight forward. So the shoulders come over the wrists, yeah? Take your eyes down in front of your mat. Long neck. So shoulders over wrist. Keep that stacked joints, yeah? On the tippy toes, you'll lift your right foot up. Feet together at the back of the mat. Make sure they're centered first. And then lift the right foot up. So legs straighten out. Flex the toes down. Press back through the heel. Breathe in. And breathe out. Heel as high as it'll go. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. Get right to the top of that movement. Little pulses here. 10, 9, 8, squeeze, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand your toes. Left foot up. Foot flex. Heel high on the bottom foot. Heel high on the top foot, yeah? And then keep that shift forward. So the stacked joints, every knuckle presses down. Get high in the heel. Pulse at the top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Really step down. Take a quick rag ball. Grab opposite uh, biceps or elbows. I'm going to say ISATs, <laughs> which is not a thing. Let the upper body go here. Shake your head out yes and no. Feel the heat that you build. Feel your heartbeat. It's tapas. It's the word we use for the heat that's built, the agitation, the intensity, the physicality, the presence that it can create. Where do you need to soften? Release. Fingertips down. We'll set up bear pose. It's one of my favorites. So your feet are hip distance apart. Yeah, about two fist width. So your hip distance is a lot narrower than some people realize. Yeah, so just like two fists between your feet. And then squat down into a seat here. Palms flat on the mat, yeah? So this is where we'll start. You bring your hands down. You might not be able to reach until you bend your knees. Try that, though. And then bring the knees right to the backs of the triceps. So not on the outside, right Right on the backs of the triceps. Sit down as deep as you can. If you can get your thighs parallel to the floor, bonus. Bonus fire. So once you're down here, you want isometric, again, connection. Similar to what we did earlier in the, the crow on your back. You're pressing triceps into knees. Well, ground your hands down. I wasn't pressing my knuckles and my hands slipped right out, right? So just be aware of that. Fingers press, hands intentional. Knees and triceps pressing into each other. So again, resist that. Your knees press into the triceps, but your triceps are pressing back to keep that connection there. Breathe in. Press the feet down. We're here for a little bit. So start to bring more fire now. Wiggle your chest in between your thighs. You might maybe need to take your feet a tiny bit wider. Some of you might need to. Trying to get the upper body kind of in between the thighs, and you squeeze your inner thighs to your ribs. Hands and feet down. Inner thighs, squeeze to ribs. Uriana Banda has been fired up for like the last 18 minutes, right? Squeeze belly button up and in. This is supported pair. If you want to take full expression, arms can reach to the front of the room, front of your mat. Reach fingertips forward and then lift your biceps up by your ears. So feel that squeezing still through the inner thighs, lengthening through the fingertips. Five more, in and out. Press your feet, squeeze your inner thighs. Two more, inhale, exhale, lengthen, lift the biceps and release hands down first and then hips up. You can make two fists or like two karate chops. Give yourself a little massage there. Breathe in. Bring your big tools to touch. Come up to a flat back on the inhale. Fold. Sweep all the way up. Just take one extended mountain, big lengthening, big reach. Fold. 
halfway lift. Step back to a high plank. Lower down low plank. All the way to the belly. Yeah, we can belly flop if that's what we want. Set this up here. So before we lift up into a pose, we're just gonna get some activation. So reach your arms out in front of you. Yeah, so toes are pointed. Instead of your toes curled under like this, toes pointed, so point them back. And then press into your palms so much that your elbows lift off the mat. So get that activation. And just feel here, shoulders not crunching up next to the ears, right? Not that tightness. You want to draw shoulders down the back. So pressing into the hands. And then do the same with the legs. Your tops of the feet press down so much that your knees lift up. So the feet are still on the ground, but you're pressing into your feet. That's arms and legs. Now Uddiyana Bandha, wake it up. So scoop in the belly. Your belly muscles will support your low back and these couple back bends we're gonna do. So keep them engaged the whole time, right? They're on the floor here, but they're still working. From here, lift up, superhero. Like you're a flying superhero, yeah? Lengthen through your body. Reach your fingertips, point your toes. Uddiyana Bandha supporting the back. Take it as high as you can, breathe in. Breathe out, squeezing in, lifting up. Take one more big reach and then let it come down. Sway your hips from side to side. You can curl the toes under, heels from side to side. We'll do one skydiver pose today. So. Cactus the arms on both sides. There's a 90 degree bend at the elbow, palms flat on the ground. Now the legs souped about a kanasana, like we started on our back, but flipped over. So feet together, knees wide. From here, you lift up. Imagine you're skydiving, right? The air is lifting up the body, lifting up the elbows so your shoulders integrate onto your back. Press your feet together, open the knees wide, and get your thighs, if you can, lift them up off the ground. Core strong, Udihana Banda. Don't lose that. Three more. Inhale, exhale, lift up by hugging in. Take one more big breath and release all the way down. Windshield wipe the legs from side to side. You can keep your knees wide. Do a couple and then bring your knees together. Do that. It's a little bit different release. You can have one cheek on the floor, just resting for a second. Hands by your ribs. We're gonna hold up dog for five breaths. I'm gonna up dog. It's a really nice abdominal stretch. So if you need to have your thighs and your knees down, you do that, right? If you can bring the lift up, press the tops so the toes point, like we were just doing before in superhero, right? Press down and you lift up through the thighs. Lift up through the shin bones even. Careful that elbows don't get too rigid or locked. You want a little micro bend, some fluidity, some bounciness in the joints. Really draw the chest through the window of your arms. Feel that opening across the front of the body. Two more lift up. Stretch, you can sway from side to side. Just give your abdominal muscles a little break. And then pull them in, now lead through the hips. Down dog. Knees. Okay, come down onto your knees. Move through a few cat cows. Look up to the ceiling. Take cow pose. Tailbone points up. And then on the exhale, cat. Press the floor. Engage with the Anabanda. Really fire up the core on the exhale. Inhale, you let go of the abdominal. So with the Bandha releases. Look up. Tailbone up. And then press. Round the back. Squeeze the belly in. One more. Cow. And cat. Neutral spine. Half hydrant pose. This is like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Soften the elbows. Lift the right knee up. Yeah. Lift it as high as you can get it. Keep the foot flexed on both feet. Both legs. If you need the space, come up onto your right fingertips here, just a little bit more space to lift that knee. Active, core, obliques, working, strong, breathe in. 
Release down, switch sides, toes curled under, and then lift up to the left. You can come on your left fingertips, left foot up to the side. Uddiyana Bandha muscles, the core is engaged. It's fired up to support this. And then if it's engaged, it creates more space, more support. Lift your knee. Stay here. Take a breath in and release down. We'll do it with breath now. Right side, lift up and down. Left, inhale, you lift. Exhale, you lower. Three more on each side, right side, fingertips, lift the knee, and then come down. On the left, lower. Core, two more each side, right, left, and lower. Left, lift up, lower down. One more core working here, feel that squeeze. Lift, press the right heel out, try that. Yes, and release down, nice left side, one more. If I do it on this side, I'll kick out my window, so stay maybe, extend, lift, release down. Take one cow, look up. One cat, round the back. Step back to a high plank. So I'll give you option. If you're like exhausted and on fire and you wanna rest, just come all the way down to belly shavasana, that's like this. Resting, right? Do that if you need to. Or come down to forearm plank. Forearm plank, palms on the ground. Yeah, so no prayer, no fist, right? Just let the tension go. Ground your hands flat. And then take a breath in. Take a breath out. Bring your right knee to your right tricep. Yeah, as close as you can get. It might not touch. Press it there. Hug it in, oblique fires up, breathe in, step back. Other side, left knee to left tricep. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, hug, 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 step back. Right side, and back. Left side, back. One more, each side, right. Step back, left. Step back, high, low plank, stay here, breathe in. Breathe out, still holding, take a little sway from front to back here. So the shoulders just behind and then in front of the elbows, rocking on the toes, fired up through the core. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dolphin pose, walk your feet in part way. So your forearms stay right where they are. It's like a down dog on the forearms, ground the heels. Soften the shoulders. Breathe in. Out. Again. Ground down. Inhale. Exhale. Forearm plank. Last one here, 10 breaths. Activating core more by engaging through um, isometric, yeah? So the elbows scrub back towards the toes, toes scrub up towards the elbows. Nothing just moved, but my whole body fired up, yeah? Like you're trying to create a wrinkle in the center of your mat by dragging your toes towards your elbows, your elbows towards your toes. Press down, squeeze in. You're almost halfway there. Stay, five more breaths, inhale, exhale. Elbows to toes, toes to elbows, belly button to spine, and fiery breath. Two more, squeeze in, hold it, take one more breath, and release down to your belly. Come up into a gentle sphinx pose, so forearms on the ground, with your elbows underneath your shoulders, your legs are just resting on the ground, your thighs, your hips. Lift the crown of the head, pull the chest through the arms. Breathe. In. And out. Again. One more. Come up onto your knees. Take them wide. Sit back into a child's pose. Just a couple of breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Yeah. 
tabletop. Downward facing dog. Stay here for five breaths, or you can take 10 leapfrogs with me. Leapfrogs can show up like little light hops, little tiny hops, still gonna work your core, or they can be bigger hops. Trying to land as lightly as you can. Press. Use your core muscles to stabilize the movement. Take another five, four, three, two, and one. And release. You'll come down onto your knees, cross your ankles, come down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Take happy baby, grab the outsides of the feet. Knees down. Just a gentle sway from side to side. You can release some of the low back from the work it was just doing. Okay, one last movement here before we take a couple seconds of rest, a couple minutes of rest. Feet up, interlace your fingers, make like a little pistol pointing at your toes, yeah? And then just one more crunch, just one. So you'll lift your fingertips towards your toes, lift your heels to the ceiling, so shoulders left, tailbone lifts, ribs to hips, squeeze in, Come up, five breaths, inhale, exhale. Lifting ribs to hips, fingertips, like if you can touch your toes, bonus points, yeah, two more, in and out. Last one, lift and squeeze and release. Squeeze into your chest. Oh, do that, take a big breath in, just let it go. And we'll finish up in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you really want a Shavasana, go for it. Right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. Close the eyes just a moment to land. Find that balance, even in a moment of intensity. Feel the work you did, but allow to be a release. Here is creating softening. Few more breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Make the next inhale a little longer. And a longer exhale. One more. Breathe in. Open your mouth. Let it out. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze here. Hug in tight. Tight little ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale. Inhale to a full body stretch. So like lengthen now. Fingertips reach. Toes points. Long body. Roll onto your right side. Take fetal position just for a moment here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come up to a seated position. Don't rush, just take your time. Eyes closed, sit up tall. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. And the fire in me acknowledges the fire in each and every one of you. Thank you for flowing with me today, flowing with me after this was recorded.
Thumbs to the center of your forehead. And we go. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Um, so yeah, this was, you guys asked for this, so we did this today. I will do, um, there was quite a few people that were interested in just a 30-minute journey into power, so that will be coming later this week if you want to try to get a flow in. So, you know, we can get most of the sequence um, in there without having to make it too insanely fast. You just kind of kind of cut out some stuff, but yeah, check that out. Um, check out the cracker video that I just posted yesterday, keto crackers that taste like veggie thins. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already done that. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, just keep watching, keep flowing your body. And uh, Friday, it's going to be an arm balancing workshop. So that is, again, my workshops, uh, these mini workshops I'm doing on Friday are attended for all levels. So if you think you can't do an arm balance, that's perfect. You should totally join me. Um, I break down kind of the steps of how to build strength to get into some of those more advanced poses. And you got to start somewhere, right? It's that first step, that little step in the right direction that can get you um, to the bigger goal. So thank you, guys. I'm going to come and see who's chatting with me over there. I see some popping up. But uh, have an awesome rest of your week. And, yeah, stay connected. Keep healthy. Thank you for joining me. Awesome. Thanks, Freddie. Yes, Christoph, so good. Donata. Thanks, guys. Um, stay tuned. Stay subscribed, notified. Share the channel with anybody that you think might be interested. Have an awesome day.